Okay, so I'm here with the man himself, Tommy Pickering, because we're going to talk today about lava. Now, Tommy, I know when you went to the World Champs in South Africa, it opened your eyes a little bit, I believe, with flavours and all this. I mean, I don't really know that much about it, but tell us a little bit about why you think this is so important. Well, <clears throat> when I went to South Africa, I'll be honest with you, it was like, wow. They are totally obsessed with colourings and flavourings. And one of the main reasons is they hadn't got the amount of baits that we had. But what, so they're just limited to the amount they're of baits? They're very limited, so right. they look for other ways of catching fish. One with flavourings and one with colourings. I mean, they used loads and loads of different things. Unbelievable, like blew our minds totally. Yeah. So when we're coming back to the UK, everybody's, you know, it's uh, been experimenting, trying different things, different things, and we've come up with this lava. And You've seen some great effects, haven't you? Oh, unbelievable. I mean, it's interesting, to, it's, I think it's worth noting that the South Africans actually won gold, didn't they? In their at, own country. In their own country, yeah, yeah. right? We're using these things. Yeah. And, you know, when you consider that elsewhere, South Africa don't really do very well, generally speaking, the Absolutely. guys do all right, you know, said but they haven't got a medal. Really. That said everything to me with how well they understand well, it. So. The cart lads won four years on the trot. The South African the South cart African boys. The cart boys with, with using flavouring colourings in different countries. Yeah, so. And that opened my, I think, hmm, there's something in this. There's something we in this. We need to look into it a little bit more. Okay, so tell us a bit about the lava then. Well, well, the lava is you've got a, it comes in a few flavours. Yeah. And you've got a top on that you can unscrew like that to open it. Yeah. So if you've got a method feeder, for example. And this is how you would use it probably? This is exactly yeah. how I would use it. I'd, yeah. The secret is to work out which flavour that the fish want. And yeah. that can, you can only do that by experimenting and trying yourself. Yeah. Now, on the fisheries the, you go to sort of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So what you'll, you'll start with one, if it doesn't work, try, try one or two more yeah. until you find the one that you want. But you'll know when you get the one you want because you start catching fish. Yeah. It's as simple You as once that. told me when you're casting out, you start getting indications, you know the bait you've got's right. Yes, so exactly yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's and all you do basically, you get, you get a method feeder and you just squeeze it on top like that and you can, you can do anything you want like that. You can even, if you want, I mean this time when I went to South Africa, they were putting two on. So <laughs> what, they were putting two Right, do you think colours. they were doing one for like a different colour, different flavour or you know, that sort of thing? Uh, like one for a colour, well, one for a flavour sort they, of thing? They were really experimenting with two different colours, putting two different colours on. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't recommend yeah. that to start with, what I'll say, just put one on and see if it works. Yeah, well I know, that, like I know that. that one of the advantages that I've got, right, is that um, I've noticed that it sticks on your bait really well when you cast, it, which is so so important. Very because important. I've seen I've seen people casting out before, with, and they're off. It's on their at. You know, I don't quite understand. It doesn't what, get to where you want it to get, no, which is the bottom. Which is that you can see there. That's still on your bait, sort of like ten seconds after you've put it in. Which means I know it would be on the bottom, but now it's starting to break up. Now that there's a cloud around it, but it's on the bottom where the fish yeah, are going to come yeah. into and respond to. And the moment you pull that away, either with a fish or without you'll get a, a cloud that comes up so next time you cast in you're going to go straight on top of that cloud where the fish have been attracted I understand. to see, it. See I think that's really I think that's really interesting because I, I think to myself I'm trying to target fish on the bottom I'm not exactly. trying to target fish up in the water exactly. anywhere else and it, you can already see you've got a nice yellow stain there so when the fish do come in they'll yeah. smell it to come in Perfect. and then next time it's in the water that's column. That's exactly what it's about. Right, right, I like brilliant. even if you use a banjo I mean I love the banjo yeah you know you can still do the same thing you can put a blob on that yeah whatever you want on that yeah. Yeah. And because it's and so exactly sticky, so. it won't come off. Yeah, that's you cast brilliant. it, you go like that, it won't come off. You cast it out, it hits the bottom, it'll go, it hits the surface, it'll go to the bottom, and then you're going to get, in your danger area, you're going to get a nice cloud line. Very, very, very interesting. Now, I know you must have a favourite. Are you going to tell me what it is? Are you going to keep it secret? I'm going to krill. Uh, kr <laughs> krill? Krill. Right, that's good. I've, now I've got an edge on you, because I can, well, I haven't I got love, an edge on you. I love the krill one. And yeah. I'll tell you why I use a krill cool. one. Think about it. Krill ground baits work, krill pellets work. Yeah. So why won't krill come Yeah, and it's a nice colour, I've noticed. Nice it's pinky colour, red colour, isn't it? But it works. It? Yeah, why brilliant. does it work? Because fish love krill. Brilliant, brilliant. And, and as simple as that. Look at that. Yeah. How good is that? That is, <laughs> that is pretty good. Brilliant. Okay, well look, lava's out in the shops now. It's, uh, it's only $4.99 a bottle. $4.99? <laughs> You're kidding. $4.99 a bottle. I know, that means you're you know, going to have to take a pay Even cut. Even I can afford yeah, that. Yeah. $4.99, wow. <laughs> Brilliant. So $4.99 a bottle. There's 10 different flavours. Get in your shops. Tell us which one you're using because I'll tell you now, it's going to be really interesting seeing which ones catch the most fish. Absolutely.